You're watching UNICEF television. It's a big day for girls at a drop-in center in Dhaka. A very special guest is expected to visit them shortly. Preparations are in full swing. A big feast is being prepared. And of course, they're never too young for a dash of mascara. The girls fondly call their visitor Tony Bhaiya. The world knows him as Anthony Lake, executive director of UNICEF. On a three-day trip to the country, the executive director visited this care facility where often a homeless girls are given a safe place to live in. Each one of these smiling faces has a story to tell, a story of violence, abuse and abandonment. There are thousands of children living on the streets of Bangladesh, most of them shunned by their families due to poverty or family discord. Many suffer physical and mental abuse. Drug addiction is common amongst these hapless children. Every day is a struggle for existence. For many of them, drop-in centers like this is the only hope for survival. Besides giving shelter to these children, drop-in centers provide vocational training and even business development. Like 13-year-old Arki, who runs a bank. Yes, quite literally. She is the bank manager and her clients are children who live with her in the center. Running and maintaining a bank account gives these children a sense of empowerment and confidence that they lost out on during their days on the streets. During a meeting, all children decided on the concept of creating a bank within the drop-in center since none of them had any access to banks. The girls come and deposit money in the bank by writing receipts. It gives them control over their money. The executive director was impressed by the way the children articulated their thoughts, be it through their fine handwriting or through drawings. And I'm taking this picture and I'm putting it in my office in New York. I, I will look at this every day. It will remind me of all of you and your smiles. They may have faced hardships in life, but dancing to the beats is hardly a challenge for these children. There's some great talent here, be it traditional dancing or the seven-year-old singing and playing the harmonium as a professional musician would do. For the executive director, it was an experience that he will cherish for a very long time. You've been watching UNICEF Television. For more information, go to unicef.org. Unite for Children.